Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa and today we're going to be doing a makeup video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a look that you can wear every day. This is normally what I do when I have to go to work and I don't have a lot of time to do my makeup in the mornings. So sit back, relax and enjoy. So I've done my eyebrows off camera and I'm going to take this Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I'm going to put some of this on my forehead, under my eyes, just where my pores are, right there and just above my nose. Now I'm just going to like rub it in just to get rid of, I have large pores in this area and I just want to erase them. And today's foundation is this one. It's the Maybelline Super Stay 24 Hour Foundation in the shade uh, 60. I think it's caramel. And I'm just going to pump some on the back of my hand like that. Take my finger and dab it all over my face. I'm going to try to keep today's look as simple as possible so to make it beginner friendly. And most of the things I'm using, you can get from clicks or Diskin. Okay, so I'm going to blend in my foundation. Just dab it in. to take a brush and just dab my foundation in any streaks any harsh lines Okay, so then I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn and I am going to put that in the places where I want to highlight and I'm just going to put it under my eyes, along my nose. Okay, uh, disclaimer, I just want to say I'm not a professional makeup artist. This is what I do. So all the professionals and the experts people come from this is just what I do when I do my makeup on my face this as well. I'm going to take my brush and I am going to dab the concealer. Oh yeah, I use that today. I thought let me try a brush instead. Still that LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Fawn. And while we wait for that to get tacky, that to get tacky, I'm going to take my Yardley Absolute Translucent Loose Powder and I am going to set the concealer under my eyes. I'm going to go move on into contouring. For contouring, I'm going to use this Elego Pro Concealer in the shade Espresso. And I am just going to use a bit of that. Okay, 
going to take this Real Techniques mini sculpting brush and I am just going to Control. If you want to use a smaller brush, you can use a smaller brush, but I like the shading, I like the way it shades my nose, so I use this brush from the nose control just to snatch this nose, honey. I'm going to blend out the concealer that I put on my eyelid as an eyeshadow primer. Just blend it out. Next, I'm going to go in with that Yardley Absolutely Translucent Powder and I'm going to set um, the rest of my face. powder under my eyes just going to take like a fluffy brush and I am going to dust the excess powder off my face just For my powder contour, I'm going to use the Chic Cosmetics Island Glow Palette and I am going to use the brown shade down here, it's called Cabin Fever. like a shadow right on my jawline not a lot but just to create a little bit of a shadow I'm going to use a buffing brush and this MAC cosmetics dark mineralized skin finish powder in the shade dark and I'm just going to put you want to put just a bit of product in there Okay, I'm going to go in for the last time on that eyelid because creasing is really important. Okay, guys, I'm going to go in with this Beauty Treats um, Shimmer and Bronze Palette, and I'm going to go in with this this orange looking shade over here. And I'm going to be using this Chic Cosmetics Road Tripping Eye Palette. I'm going to be doing a very, very, like a neutral look. I'm not going for anything fancy. So we're going to use the browns. I think we'll do two shades. We'll use... We'll use this brown over here. And maybe uh, the dark one over here as well. I'm going to be taking an eyeshadow brush and I'm going to be going in with that lighter brown shade and just packing it on my eyelid.
Okay, so I've gone and applied eyeshadow on the other eye off camera, but what I am realizing is it's a bit too simple for me. So I'm going to go in with this darker shade over here, and I'm just going to add some of that product in to uh, onto a brush and just darken the corners of my eye. If you want to smoke out the bottom of your eye, then use a smaller brush and just grab some of that color and Again, the Beauty Treats Shimmer Palette and I am going to be taking a brush and just I like to mix the shades in this in this one. So I take one of the lighter shades and mix it with like another. And then I'm going to go in with this Avon Mark Magic Setting Spray. Be sure, whatever setting spray you use, shake it first because if you don't, it's going to leave white residue all over your skin. Then you're going to ruin your makeup. So. If you are wearing that color eyeshadow or whatever, normally I like to hide my face. Like I hide the eye part. But I remember that for when you use lashes. So I'm going to use this mascara, false lash mascara from Essence Cosmetics and I am going to put that on my eyelashes. I'm trying not to get mascara on my skin. I'm lining my lips with the Essence Casual Pencil in the shade Brown. And then for lipstick, I'm going with this The Body Shop uh, Liquid Matte in the color Windsor Road. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And please don't forget to comment, like, share with your friends. And I will surely see you next time in my next video.